Dun, da dun, da dun, da dun, da 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 dun, da dun. Gotta start with the music. Da dun, da dun, da 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 dun. This time we're gonna talk about this. This lady here that I just found out called Daphne. Daphne. <laughs> You, you would spell this Daphne with a E at the end, but no, this is English, English which I just found out. Uh, there is this fucking word in English that you spell it like this. I hope you can see what I'm typing right now, but apparently not. Which right now I'm, I'm writing something in the screen. If it's not uh, seen by you. So there is this world, this world, <laughs> there is this word called, uh, that you uh, write it like this, colonel, which is clearly taken from uh, uh, Latin speaking countries, colonello, which is one of the grades in the order followers, zombies of this world. And how motherfucking... English people, English zombie speaking people decide to spell this fucking world. World, of course. Colonel! 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 Do I need to say more about your fucking language? I hate your fucking language. It's, it's also cool, you know, I, I like English guys, but. Colonel! From colonel to colonel? Cur no, 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 no. Colonel. Colonel, what the fuck? Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, uh, they say, Marcel, you are so depressing. No, you haven't seen depressing yet. <laughs> this will be depressing. <laughs> uh, but 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 let's start first with what I found out. Uh, this uh, this lady here. Daphne, I was just uh, minding my own business, looking for creeps on uh, the YouTube, uh, while I was caged by YouTube, because I'm a bad, bad boy, and I, I am at the last uh, possibilities, uh, last strike, so I gotta be careful of what I say, me, careful, oh, please, close my fucking channel, I don't care. So, no, 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 please. So, please, first of all, just hide my icons because I don't want people to see my business. My business. You see no, no icons now. So, I was minding my own business and I came across this very, very good skull and bones, if I don't know. But the, but the title is very correct, like equality, when, they, when this, uh, there's this... Uh, Keywords in the New World Order, you know, uh, which are not really what they seem, you know, like equality in reality means communism. <coughs> but this channel doesn't have uh, recent content, so to speak. So they tell me that I should go to LBRY library, this, this supposedly. <coughs> free website where you can speak freely and, uh, and so but in this video I, I, I came across uh, for the first time Daphne does Daphne has a name we don't know but at least she puts herself and her image on camera which it's already something so Daphne uh, it, it's definitely it's definitely not a fan girl of the assholes. So let's hear just a little bit of this video which captured my at my attention. I smell some shit. I think it is coming from this book. I think this book is riddled with bullshit and it stinks like bullshit. So that isn't all. It is filled with hilarious images of what we were told are satellites that could never be considered images of satellites. It is... Uh, I guess this is aimed more toward young adults, but it's still filled with... This. It's still, it's still with this. No, couldn't, couldn't get a new fucking picture, could they? No, not at all. That's the best I could do. Every time. Every fucking time. 
that's the best they can do. Nice this is bad. the worst they can do. <laughs> because even without looking closely, even from three miles away, even though you're in a different state or a different country, you can see this is an oil painting <laughs> on a canvas. Look. Oh, shit. <sighs> but somehow this says that this is Orb View from August 18th of 1999. Orb View. Orb View. Brush strokes. Canvas texture, more canvas texture in orb view. Yeah. <laughs> fucking morons are still watching NASA, guys. It's fucking. I mean, as I'm see, as as you can uh, see in my title, uh, scrolling down here, uh, I'm going to talk about a video that she made, which uh, uh, we're going to go down in the depressing area in just a few seconds. Uh, what have I written in my title? I cannot see it right here, so I have to go to the fucking... So, is this hell? You know, it says here. Is this a big joke? You know, all this that I'm going through, guys, which we call life. Guys, are you my friends? Or what? Are you also part of the all this theater? Uh, meant to fool me? What, what the fuck is going on here? You people are too stupid to be real. What am I supposed to do here? I mean, after, for example, you try to do this, doesn't work. You try to do this, you try to wake them up, doesn't work. You try, you try to say this, doesn't work. But yet, in, in, in our heads, you know, they have put this, uh, this map to see this reality that is so beautiful this map ah you can change the world ah yeah, this is freedom ah, ah or or uh, there is this other one which says ah but wait is uh, jesus is coming so don't worry this uh, this maybe it's not uh, really paradise but but uh, jesus is coming everything is going to be all right you try to be good which i'm more uh uh, close to, to this kind of philosophy because it's like you know uh, this life that I have you know it's better this car that I'm going through this journey it's better to treat this car to treat my my uh, my accent it's not very good it's better to treat this uh, this car that I'm going th through with with uh, that I'm going with in this journey good or bad well, this is maybe I have a question even here, but <laughs> looks like it's better, you know, to treat this car good. So it's better to be good, you know, Johnny, be good. Uh, so there's some doubts that maybe we'll find some answers at the end of, of course not, of this video. So let's uh, let me go ahead now. I said, oh, nice, nice. This is uh, very nice. This lady. Of this video you know I, I wanted them to, to know more so luckily this guy in this video ha had put the re the exact name and so I went on YouTube and uh, and found this beautiful <laughs> this beautiful channel guys and already by reading the the image here uh, it's uh, it's very yes you can also see my uh, bookmarks on uh, on uh, fuck Fox. Firefox, and uh, and so uh, my team. Well, you can read it this uh, because we are in uh, China tube here. And maybe so there are things that you are not supposed to to say, of course. But uh, okay. Uh, I like the fact that this uh, lady Daphne reloaded. Daphne <laughs> reloaded. <laughs> Doesn't give a fuck about uh, well, she she gives a fuck about the fact that you cannot say certain words otherwise they might close your channel. But she said, and in fact, I put in my latest videos bits of her of her videos of her video, uh, which is she basically says that uh, uh, do you really need to to say to the sheeple the exact wor word? You know, we. We kind of understand each other without 
having to say the word. And if you are one of those that, when I say, for example, you know, this morons took the shit, you know, we can understand each other. But if the other morons do not get it, what we're saying, you know, maybe they deserve to not get it. Maybe so fuck, fuck you, you know. So, so I'm not risking to. to so the, they close my channel because she also does some business with her channel here, guys, because she sells stuff. Uh, and maybe I should also sell stuff since I am uh, uh, like a, considered uh, technically a parasite right now, guys, because I'm living at my parents' home, you know. Um, but the problem is that uh, I don't want to sell shit to anybody. This is my problem. I, I just want to, to do what's necessary for just myself and don't give a fuck to sell anything of my shit to anybody else to get money. I don't want to deal with fucking money. Because to have money, uh, you have to have uh, a, an electronic way to so that the, the, the dumb morons would sell money to you. I don't want that shit. I, don't, I just want my fucking chickens, my fucking land where I can work, my fucking wood. And leave me the fuck alone, you motherfuckers. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't want to touch your fucking money. I don't want to deal with you. You sending you emails. Ah, oh, did you get my shit? Ah, oh, did you like it? D d I don't want to suck your fucking dicks, you zombies. You fucking zombies. I, you make me vomit. All of you. I don't want to deal with you morons. Okay. Everything is fine. So, so Daphne sells you this shit. Well, well at least uh, everything is beautiful. It's, it's natural creams and shit that uh, she does in her home and you can put in your, your shitty fucking face and uh, and go around and, and oh, look how beautiful I am. And uh, she sells this shit um, at here, Etsy, 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 Etsy. What the fuck does it mean, this Etsy? And I don't have this, uh, and this is the part that I don't like about her. She's very uh, entrepreneurial spirit. I really don't like this, this kind of people. You know? But again, compared to the morons that uh, like the free shit, you know, or the, the, the state gives to you, of course I am with her. But again, I don't want to deal with, I, I mean, I don't want to deal with uh, sheeple guys when they are dumb guys. And we are slaves. If we were in a community, guys, when we, we are with like-minded people, and we can share our stuff that we do extra sh stuff, and I share. When I when I have on the other side someone that understands me that in it's uh, on my level, it's pleasurable, and we of course will not deal with fucking money, or at least maybe we will deal with our kind of money, not their fucking money, you know, of the system. Maybe I would be okay with that, guys. If the, if the people were not stupid, but again, guys, if we are smart enough, uh, it's like we would not even have to need money. Uh, do you, for example, need money to give to your fucking child the th the things that he fucking needs? You know, it's just there. You know, we would have, for for example, you know, shit where we would store our fucking things that we've made. You know. And people would just, if, if we were sane mentally, we would just use the fucking shit that we need and we put it, put it back there. After we were done with that, which looks kind of a communism, but no, it's not communism, guys. Uh, we would, uh, this would kind of, uh, would, would work if, if you are around, like, just imagine, you know, if you are in a house with uh, people that you trust, like, really, you can trust, you know, you can leave your shit around and... Uh, you're not afraid that they will ruin them or steal them, you know? If we were kind of like this, but un unfortunately, as we are fucking realizing, we are not fucking like that. <laughs> we're fucking like this. <laughs> we're fucking like, uh, like this. And, and that's why, guys, uh, we are in the state that we are right now. And, uh, and I don't understand, guys, all the time people uh, uh, focusing this uh this uh, their anger to these people doing this to us well, in my opinion it's it's the it's like it's the sheeple that permits 
the existence of this blood suckers that we have controlling and now killing us uh so it's just you know being this dumb the consequence is them rising at the top and being so immoral the consequence is you 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 see nothing wrong of immoral people controlling being around and controlling your life so I see them more as a consequence, guys, more th uh, uh, and less this than the actors. And uh, and what I think, guys, is is just uh, unbelievable the fact that we we the few ones that understand this shit, guys. Because I was seeing a video, guys, of uh, this morons with trying to explain with psychology ah here's why we are in this mass uh, mass hysteria mass uh, madness because uh, uh, the fucking guy you know not Freud the other one uh, Jung uh, Jung said it ah this is, and this is blah 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 because of blah 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 because I don't want to in fact I, I wrote a comment to them ah why are we fucking needing the fucking this fucking expert that the system itself gave to us this motherfuckers that if young was not functional to the system they will not give it to you dumb morons do you realize and this is a fuck guys we are surrounded by dumb people guys and i'm fucking alone even those that are supposed to be intelligent they go and and, and cite the fucking young to me guys do you need fucking young to understand that you are in a fucking hell right now and the people are very suspiciously too dumb, in my opinion. This looks to me like uh, a TV show that they have in here in fucking Italy called Scherzi Aparte, which is like maybe, of course, being every, every shit in, in every television thing is equal, it's uh, the same in every fucking country. You must have something like this, especially in the fucking US, you, you morons. Of course, there are a few of you that are saying, well, if, if you are, uh, as Bill Cooper used to say, if you are offended by when I call you a moron, it's because maybe you are a moron. <laughs> okay, so so they, they have this fucking show here in Shitali, guys, called Scherzi Aparte, which is, oh, all, jo all jokes aside, let's not fuck around here. It, it is a joke, you know, when you say it like this, you know. And in fact, the, the, the show said, they go uh, usually take a VIP, you know, some famous people, because this is what the, the, the dumb morons ch little children want to watch, and they make them some jokes like uh, with cameras, with hidden cameras, and they make him jokes, and, and he supposedly, well, of course, they are actors, they know that they are playing with them. He doesn't know what is going on, and 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 people like uh, throw shit at them and be mean to them, and he is like. But why? What, what, is, what is this shit? Why is going on all this shit? Why the people are so mean? And then at the end of all this thing, you know, they tell them, Oh, don't worry, it was a candid camera. It was all a joke, you know. Here's a camera there. Here's a camera there. Here's a camera in your ass. Here's a camera down there. And he, he was an actor. He was an actor. He was an actor. And this is, you know, one uh, suspicion of mine, guys, is that uh, this is all uh, a fucking uh, theater, guys, that we are going, that I'm going through. Uh, I, I, I would uh, really, they say that you can end this shit just by killing yourself, but I'm afraid it will not end, guys, and this is the, the shit. Okay, I've gone crazy, but uh, considering the, 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 what's supposed to be normal here, I'm... Here is the proof that Marcel was crazy. He was thinking that everybody was a uh, was an actor. So it's just um, uh, how they call schizophrenia. I don't know. No, I don't hear voices, man. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so let's let's talk about bath me. Uh, so I went to her channel and I saw this video, which uh, hit me lately. Just yesterday, I, I saw this video, and she talks about this. Let's listen a little bit. I'm just gonna present you with a theory that you're already dead and you're already in hell. You're already dead and you're already in hell. You fucking are dead, man. Because 
it's 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 incredible i do videos guys there is people fucking watching videos and they the maximum thing that they can do is just give me a like what the fuck you brain dead moron say something i i fucking put my 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 all my energy into this fucking video if you like this fucking video do you feel that we are in the same shit fucking say something to me i'm fucking alone it, it, the sadness it, it's indescribable the, the 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 painful of being so fucking alone in this fucking hell fucking say something you moron but if you deep inside you do not say something i don't want you to say something at that point if you deep inside you don't feel the urge to do something more than just a fucking like don't do it you are already brain dead don't fucking see my videos unsubscribe from this fucking channel fuck off you moron which that will be the 99 percent of you morons subscribe to my channel fuck off you morons you zombies that just put a fucking like and don't leave a fucking comment fuck off right now fuck off you zombies Fuck off, man! So, let's listen now to this beautiful presentation. We're born onto this earth, and it has all of the makings of heaven. It has all of the possibilities of heaven. Green grass, blue skies. You would think that this is the most amazing place to be. Just looking around, you would think this is beautiful and wholesome and brilliant. Yet somehow, when we make it here, we're not exactly happy about it. Which brings me to a little tidbit that I heard from a patient of mine long ago. He said that we are born into this world crying, and when we exit, we are smiling. And as a geriatrics nurse, I've seen, I've seen death. I've seen people die. I've seen people die very peacefully. Much more peacefully than when a baby is born and they realize they're here. Absolutely. But here's something more interesting. The religions that promise you everlasting life, well, they only promise it to you after you die. Which brings me to my next segment. Uh, Daphne, as you might realize, it doesn't believe. It's not... Uh, again, guys, I have nothing to say about that, but... Uh, so let's go. I'd like for you all just for a brief moment to consider the word deceased and how little f***ing sense it actually makes. So, if someone were to die, technically, if we were logical, we would say they ceased. They ceased to exist. But no, that's not what we say. We say they deceased, which would indicate that they have just begun. So, let's just briefly skim over some material. Some material, you know, some old classic movies, some one-liners, some shows, some things that have been put in our face to let us know we are the walking dead. Oh yes, this classic one, I see dead people. No, but that's not all. Anybody out there remember the show Lost? Yeah, yeah, well, I thought that the show became terrible because of the writers and the strike and all the drama and blah blah blah, but it ended up being that the show sucked because it was so ambiguous and so all over the place that nobody even understood what the hell was going on. And, from the beginning until the end, you still couldn't figure out if these people were alive or if they were dead. And you couldn't figure out if they had landed on an island or if they were in hell. Hmm. Getting over the threat of hell. Since the first and second you got here, you were told that if you do bad things, you could die and go to hell. And this fear has been hung over your head and crammed down your throat most of your life, no matter what denomination you are, or even if you're an atheist. The threat of hell, the threat of dying and going to hell, oh, oh honey, the spiritual rejection, oh, oh, eternal damnation. Are you understanding this? Let me tell you how to get over the threat of hell understand that you might already be here. And I'm sorry, I might be having an Eleanor Shellstrop moment. But seriously, you're not gonna die and go to hell because you're already here. This is the bad place. Can you tell me one person you could call up 
let alone a whole group or a whole society or a whole family of people you could call up that would tell you, my life is fantastic. My life is so fulfilling and satisfying. I feel like I was born into heaven and I'm amazed every day at life and how great it is. And I am making progress every day and there is nothing holding me back. And I am just fueled by the support and love of my friends and my family. And I have community backing me up and I'm just so blessed and I just feel incredible every day. And I just, I'm just bursting with joy. No. No, I'm sorry. The people that you call up tell you that they got a breast cancer diagnosis. They're having all of their teeth removed. And they're getting dentures put in. Oh, they got pregnant with triplets from a one night stand and they don't know how they're going to deal with it. Um, oh, they were in a car accident and they lost one of their legs and they don't know how they're going to limp the rest of their life. I don't know of too many people I could call, especially right now, that would tell me how absolutely fantastic they feel about life here on earth their life in general from beginning to end and the joy well except of course the the dumb sheep that they of course their life is wonderful even now that they have taken the the shit <coughs> the flight the fl the fleeting moments of joy that they might have had are mostly gone and may never return so yeah i'm going to theorize that this is the bad place i'll just give you a second to study this particular little graphic for a moment and let it sink in because for the first 30 years of my life, I thought that this particular, um, what, what shall we call it, um, language phenomenon was just a coincidence. Just a coincidence that evil and live are the same word backward. Oh, it's just, it's just, it's just a coincidence. It has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that you're dead now and you're going to continue rotting until you quote unquote are deceased and then you begin to live and that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So, you know, guys, this is what uh, separates us from the dumb sheeple, guys. The sheeple have a map of reality, which is telling them, oh, everything is beautiful. La la land. We, and at the end my journey, uh, going deeper into life, you know, is how this map that I use to decipher the world, you know, is slowly changing into a more uh, closer to life, you know. This map is closer to reality, you know. Which is fucking hell, guys. I have a fucking um, piece of uh, skin in my lips. Uh, so, evil. Maybe I'll call this evil, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to go over 30 minutes, guys. And uh, So, so this is it, let's hear the, the end of this. And that after death, you've been promised eternal life. So when you die, you're actually being born. And when you were born, that was the day that you died. You're welcome and have a great day. Daphne, um, of course, nobody really knows, but if you can explain me, um, so what do you, what are, what are you saying in this? That after we die, th that will be life? I don't know. You don't know, of course, and nobody knows. And for me, this looks like a fucking joke. Everything, it's, it's, it's just you know, like like for example, guys, when you when you go and watch the fucking uh, newspapers. I have internet now, guys, so I can do this shit. When you do this kind of shit, you know, you go and read the the you go to see the the news, you know. It's just like s someone is making fun of you, guys. They say to you, ah, oh, from now on you need to, to get the shit to leave. Like, for example, guys, here in, in this morning in Shitterly, they are saying that even to leave your house, your home, house, home, you need the, the dead bus. If you are 60 years old. Over 60, mandatory vaccination. Oops, I said the word. Maybe this channel is gone. I don't know. And I see all this, guys, when I see the, the news, you know. It's like they're fucking raping you, guys. They want to rape you and, and they show you this shit here. And, 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 I, would, and I would like, you know, to, to, to 
catch these motherfuckers that write this shit and torture them the way they have tortured us with, with this shit, you know, with with showing us this. Ah, yes, it's it's not that this killer, you know, just fucking kills you. No, they fucking rape you with this shit, guys. With this vomit they put in this, and I want to, th and I hope that there is this final judgment again, where these people will be, the torture that they will, they, they will, they will get at the end is the same shit that they, these motherfuckers did to us with this shit here. Before killing them, make rape them, put them in the fucking jail like we are right now, and rape them by telling them how they we're going to kill you, to these motherfuckers, to these pieces of shit. Raping us with this bullshit, and of course the, the 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 thing is, guys, that there's people buying these newspapers and read this shit and believe in this shit, guys, which makes all this like a kind of a joke, guys. This is not, not even a, a child could believe this shit, man. I mean, what the fuck, man? It's unbelievable, guys. The fact that I found myself, guys, you know. Uh, around 2005, I don't remember what 2005, 2006. A girl from uh, a chat that I was having long ago, so in that years, gave me uh, a place. Uh, even back then, it was really rare to download shit. There were not even torrents and shit like this. Uh, but she gave me like a server where, with the chat, you can like download. Uh, documentaries from there and this had lots of uh, cool documentaries you know and there for the first time I woke up you know why am I saying all this oh so this uh, for all my journey guys it, it's it's always been you know oh man I, I'm so behind with all this waking up thing you know there's people so much smarter than me and, and, and nothing more than me and everything you know and until we reached, guys, 2020, whether I started to feel this thing even earlier. But what I mean is this. So I was slowly growing in this uh, waking up knowledge, you know, that you have to know to, to, to throw away all the shit that you had in your mind, you know. And, but yet you, you always feel like you, you were not enough, you know. Until fucking 2020 came along, guys, and you realize that you're fucking more than even these motherfuckers thought that they were intelligent and uh, knew everything on, on this, you know, conspiracy stuff, you know. And all of a sudden, you find yourself fucking alone. Nobody with balls. Even on this side, they, they're supposed to know the truth and everything. Many of them got the shit, guys. You know, you know what I mean, you know. And many of them even right now, guys, are still wasting time trying to wake up the dead. These are the dead, guys. The sheeple, so to speak, you know, the, the zombies. They're still wasting time showing them videos, showing them fucking links to these zombies. Because they, are, they have no bolts. Bill Cooper used to say, if you, if, you, if you don't have anything in life that is worth dying for and freedom, you can defend it only with giving total your life. Otherwise, they will fuck you. You're dead. Only if you are uh, brave enough to give your life for freedom, you can maybe have it. But this fucking pussies, this fucking pussies, uh, trying to wait, uh, trying to talk to the dead because they don't have the balls to sacrifice themselves or to, to, do, to do something. And they are being raped right now, like everybody here alive in this after 2020, guys, by putting the fucking mask on the go to, to to eat. You are sucking dicks like the rest of them, and yet you're still wasting fucking time talking about Freud, talking about uh, this fucking uh, young, on how, why the sheeple behave. The, what the fuck do you want to know about the fucking sheep? They are the dead. You're talking to me about the dead and you need the fucking philosopher there to talk me about uh, dead people? Fuck off, you moron! It's fucking clear the shit here! They are fucking putting their dick in your fucking ass every day! You got to fucking eat! 
What the fuck are you gonna do, you dumb fuck? Shit, man, unbelievable. And again, on the other side, not even me should do this. Like, why am I doing this video to talk to the, the just other better kind of a dead people? I should do what's right. And I'm waiting for the knock on the door, guys. When these motherfuckers will come and take me, of course. To to do what what must needed to be done, what's normal to do. And, and if some motherfuckers come armed in your place and wanted to take you and cure you, but I, I fucking hate these people that still waste time giving links to the fucking sheeple. I mean, if you don't understand that these, these motherfuckers are, are giving this shit to you for free. And many of them don't even believe in this in this shit, you know, but they do it just because they want to travel. And you want to talk to waste time to, to, to It's it's fucking it's a fucking joke, man. It's a fucking joke this supposed shit what we call life. So uh just to close here guys, I see dead people we saw that. Now this part here guys and this is and and this is what i was saying like this division all of a sudden i found myself you know before 2020 i thought to myself i will not be able enough you know to to hang around these people uh, that, that are like uh, this uh, awake people you know because maybe i i do not know enough you know but then you realize after 2020 guess i i've made like a, a how do you say like uh, emptiness around me there, there was nobody all of a sudden I, I find myself alone at the at the peak so to speak and all of these people that were ahead of me they all fell down like this and all of a sudden I'm fucking alone here guys and uh, fucking alone where people like Bill Cooper and fucking alone where people that didn't give a fuck and felt that they were almost being killed like doctors for example that have s had some doubts on this theory that you know what I mean, mean you know of the germs and shit like this you know and and yet and these are people guys that they they knew because when once you are a doctor guys they fucking kill you for saying shit that you were not supposed to say you know and these are my heroes guys these people that fucking uh, had the balls uh, to to fight till the end because what I'm what I mean by this guys and, and this is my criticism with Daphne Daphne first of all what is your fucking name tell me your fucking name these people are going to kill us you think by hiding your fucking name this shit will not touch you what is tell me your fucking name put your fucking name this is me you say okay you seem like a woman with balls tell it this is my fucking name. What the fuck do you want from me? Tell it. Uh, because, in my opinion, uh, if you ever watch this video, Daphne, people that really would want to, to let's say, kill you, you know, is the fucking people at the top, man. A woman. <laughs> and they fucking know where you are and who the fuck you are. So it's pointless, it's useless to hide your fucking name. And also this is my point that I do not... Uh, first, uh, this uh, entrepreneurial spirit, you know, oh, be, be, how you, you had this fucking shit in your... Uh, like, ah, oh, uh, uh, you have to, like, uh, inspire, delight the, the customer. Oh, that would make me really vomit. But this is just me. You're, you're compared to the average sheeple, you are very, very good. But this is the real meat why I don't like your philosophy. When I heard this video here. In this video here, let's hear a little bit, guys. That's something negative to say about Hong Kong. Who gives a fuck? This video will, will be long, guys. Maybe one hour, who cares? You got something negative to say about China? Well, you better keep it to your fucking self because talking about it is probably going to get you in serious trouble. Because in case you haven't heard, you're no longer American citizens. 
You're owned by China. Welcome, I'm Daphne Reloaded, and I'm here to give it to you fucking straight, because nobody else will, because- GIVE IT TO ME, DAPHNE! GIVE IT TO ME, BITCH! So, I'm gonna show you right now, guys, uh, the video that, uh, according to Daphne, will put me in jail. Which, for me, it's very important, that video, and I have put it at, uh, like, like uh, the the first video you see when I when you come to my channel unfortunately is in Italian this video and this uh, tank man guys when fucking Alice made this video with me fucking Alice looks like a zombie also from what I can tell guys she has no heart no fucking uh, it's a fucking zombie she as well but at least she had the balls to do this video with me and in this video, I talk about this shit here, guys. What went on in uh, China in 89, you know? And this video, of course, will put me in jail in the future. Let's hear more from... Uh, what is it? Here it is. Is they're too fucking scared. Additionally, China reserves the right to replace... Here's a cocksucker, guys. There's someone that wants to... A lawyer here, guys. Uh, that's... I mean, morals to lawyers, guys. Lawyers. Liars, you know. Did you... I mean, these, these fucking people are telling... Which is this guy will, will tell you now. That, ah, do not speak online. Otherwise, they will they will get all this information. And in the future, with when we will have credit scores, you know, credit system, you know, the fucking shit, like... You know, uh, Black Mirror, they will put you in jail. Well, no shit, you motherfucker! No shit, really? They will put you in jail? They are fucking killing us! Are you threatening me with fucking jail? Fucking morons! Place any Hong Kong judges it wants at its discretion. <coughs> if that wasn't enough. Under this new law, China has the ability to look at every single piece of social media content and information and posts and determine whether or not posts are made against China's interests. And if they are, it's a violation of this new national security law. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, it doesn't matter if you're a Hong Kong resident or somewhere else, you're a visitor from another country, China has the right to go through your social media. It doesn't matter if the post was in 2006 or 2016, but to go through that social media and find any evidence that they believe may be against the interests of China. So one day back in 2013, you made the post on Reddit, China sucks. That could be your downfall. You could then, when you visit Hong Kong... That could be your downfall. <laughs> and this was crazy, man. This girl, this Daphne girl, uh, so I don't make it long, guys. She goes uh, 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 with this shit, you know, with this video, you know. And at the end, she tells you, take away all your Facebook, all your Twitter, because they are collecting your data. That's why, for example, BitChute wants you to speak freely, because uh, they want uh, uh, you uh, to, to, to say things that you should not, so they can put you in, in jail in the future. Really. Really. And what the what she did after discovering this, this Daphne revolutionary that gives you fucking straight, you know, like it is, she took away all kinds of videos from all, online because she might get in jail in the future. And it will be China that will take her to jail. China. Uh, there's still people that still do not go beyond China and beyond Bill Gates, for example. But that's another thing, you know. Doesn't get it that it is all theater and uh, countries do not exist. Uh, this is we are already living in the hell, aka New World Order. Uh, but um, and so this revolutionary girl all of a sudden uh, becomes a pussy and will tell only videos that the system likes. Which at that point, you know, if the system tells you, Han, you cannot say this, otherwise I will put you there. Okay, I will not say this. Uh, next, ah, you cannot say not even that, because otherwise I will put you to jail. Ah, okay, I will not say even that. Okay. Ah, you have to suck my dick, otherwise I will put you to jail. 
Ah, okay, I have to suck his dick, otherwise he'll close my channel and I will go to jail. Daphne, do you realize this? Daphne? Daphne? Daph, are you Daph, Daphne? Daphne, wake up, Daphne! Or maybe you like this, Daphne. You like this shit. You think, but it's amazing because I thought you were intelligent, you know. You, you see that this is fucking hell. So be in this fucking hell. Just sacrifice ourselves, you know, and stop sucking dicks. Being trying to be alive, alive in this fucking shit hole, hell. Uh, is accepting to suck dicks. So at, at what point you will say, put a line on the sand, you know, say stop, fuck it. I will not suck dicks anymore. When you do this video, when you say that, ah, I will not say certain things because otherwise they will put me in jail. You are sucking some dicks, Daphne. You are becoming porno. Not more a truther, but porno movie. Okay. Let that do to the other truthers, Daphne. Daphne, don't be daft, Daphne. So I don't agree with her on this uh, thing. Last thing, I... Uh, my uh, here guys talking about diet here guys which I really hate guys I mean for me uh, I'm a spiritual guy for me matter I don't give a fuck that I have for example some issues with my body and everything but it, it, it just you know uh, it bounces like they say here in Italy this problem bounces and goes away from me is fucking problems of fucking uh, material stuff. Ah, but you will have pain. I don't give a fuck. I can... For me, when you are spiritual, on the spiritual side, and less on the mat material side, a thing of the flesh do not touch you that much. Like they would touch, for example, the dumb sheeple. The sheeple is so afraid of losing matter, guys, that they will fucking kill themselves. Maybe I should have not said this. China too will put me to jail. Oh, I will not say it again. Otherwise they will put me to jail. I mean, Daphne, we are fucking dead. These motherfuckers will kill us. Fucking tell them what they would don't want to hear before they will kill us. You know very well that these motherfuckers will kill us. And so, when it comes to, because she made, she was a vegan like me, for uh, not long enough like me, she was for like five years from what I remember, I, I, went, I went crazy from eating anything, you know, like meat and whatever, to going just cold turkey, you say, something like this, to fucking vegan, not even, you know, just uh, slowly going, I went fucking from meat and everything to fucking nothing, just vegan. And uh, and then I realize in these last years, you know, that I, I, I that the veganism is just they trying to kill us, guys. Well, uh, you should realize, guys, that everything they have the power to control what these monkeys experts will tell you, and this monkeys expert will 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 seem to you. Like they are sincere, because in a certain way they are, guys, because they have found a way to survive, which is what the system gives them permission to say. If you talk about veganism, you can talk about it, guys, freely, and, and you get money for doing that. But if you say to the dumb, download completado, man, so... I, uh, so you can see right now I, I just uh, finished downloading something I didn't know guys How? freedom but why why can I cannot see it where is it so this shit just downloaded uh, Premiere yes I don't pay uh, Premiere guys <laughs> I download it I, I'm a communist you know uh, what I was saying I was saying something Unfortunately, the world will not ever hear that again. No, I got a notification here that distracted me. So, we are talking about 
Logitech, Logitech, my webcam, my lovely webcam that keeps me so much company with your beautiful blue light and everything. Uh, could you please tell me where the fuck, uh, what the fuck I was saying? Uh, so let's let's f- see if we can get back to where I was. This this fucking video will be one hour one hour long. Let's see how much. Well, fifty minutes. I have my last ten minutes. So I was talking about this beautiful video that I suggest to you. And look at the fucking other videos, guys. Like, ah, if you hit vegan, you, you will you will die. And I was dying. She said. Of course, I agree. It was stupid to be vegan and, and everything, guys. Uh, these people want us to, to eat to just worms and, uh, and and don't have a house and don't burn wood and everything. Uh, but here, here, uh, apple cider vinegar. You spell this shit. The mother of of disease. And 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 of course, and uh, this is what I was saying. Yeah, here it comes. The system gives you the this is how the system I, I try to explain to this but when I, I see in my mind that uh, back there there's nobody giving a fuck you know it, it also you know it brings me down I don't want to even say it, to explain this shit but which just uh, explains you really well how the fucking system works they at the top guys they create uh, they say what they want to see without showing their face making us do the thing by giving you money or or punishing you that's how they can do anything with us the dumb morons the beasts the sheeple just by giving us money and when you are a fucking slave that you cannot you are not able to to grow your own shit and to be free like a, like a zebra for example that nobody tells a zebra where to eat and what to eat and uh, oh you cannot eat if you don't say this no nobody can do that but with fucking humans, they've taken us away from all that knowledge of being independent. And in this moment, when you are so hopeless, they can make you do whatever they want. Even fucking kill yourself. And the morons will do it. Because they feel they have no alternative. And so it's very easy for the system to tell us that killing yourself is good for you. So veganism is good for you. I remember, for example, I, I, I would watch this bitch called Butenko. There was this woman doing all these smoothies and all this fucking juices, juicing and shit. And I thought to myself, oh, this looks sincere. Literally, you know, guys, that the fucking sheeple guys are fucking morons. I imagine now but- Butenko, this fucking whore that I watched her videos, has taken the shit, guys. The sheep would do anything to, to, to still be slaves, guys. And you can make them do whatever you want. So this is the point, guys. After 2020, you should realize... The earth is flat? I mean, that's the least of your problem, guys. I mean, these fucking people can kill you for money, guys. Just to keep their fucking jobs, guys. They would kill you. And deep inside them, they feel no remorse because it's just normal for them to kill you. Because otherwise, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Go in the go and be a fucking uh, homeless, or go in the woods? It's not an option. But being this uh, this veganism shit and, and everything, uh, a whole uh, a lie and everything for people and. You that are watching this video, me, me, you of course are not a sheeple. So you are not on the material side, you know. You are more on the spiritual side, like me, for example. I don't give a fuck that much about eating, guys. I know that this shit will end, this matter will end very soon, guys. I don't give a fuck about living longer in this hell, guys. I want to live with justice, with uh, with uh, having done the, the right thing, you know. I'm not looking to live longer in this hell, guys. And it's and one thing for certain, guys, that the, the certainty that I have in my life, you know, just studying life, is that the shit goes worse and worse and worse, guys. That is a certainty of life, like death. Like the certainty of death, there's a certainty that this shit will go worse and worse and worse. 
humans became more and more dumb, less and less humanity in them, uh, everything goes worse and worse. So what the fuck do you want to do? You want to eat fucking healthy in this shit? I'm not saying that you should eat shit, because I don't do it. But, again, we would eat healthy, really, really healthy, if we, if we were free. If nobody harassed you in your fucking land, and in your fucking community, where you can share your food that you make in a healthy way, with pe like-minded people that are healthy even in, in the head. Until then, guys, we are eating fucking shit, guys. No matter what the fucking diet that you are doing right now, we are fucking being poisoned right now. There's no fucking go, uh, going around that. So, when I see people giving all this importance on the diet, I don't like it. You know why, guys? Because, as she said in a video, all this veganism shit is division, guys. And when you also uh, put fuel on, on this fire of, uh, of... Because you know very well, and if you put in her channel what are the most uh, popular videos of hers, the first one, and not even the first one, the few first ones are all talk about diet, guys. Look. Then comes, you know, look, all diet, guys. Look, even even goji berries are, are not good for you guys. I don't know if you can see it. Goji berries are, are toxic. I mean, this is the th and then and then after six or eight videos that the zombies have seen comes videos where she talks about uh, more you know system things and shit like this of slavery and things. But look what the sheeple guys loves to hear. A fucking flash what we fucking eat you are a fucking prisoner you will not ever eat healthy whatever the fucking diet is so this fucking diet guys yeah, really but why they have put all this uh, veganism shit and this division to the sheep guys? because they knew that if you talk about diet I mean I mean, the, the, the eating, guys, is a huge part in the sheeple's life. They will even eat to socialize, you know. Because it's like, you know, they will not be kind enough to themselves. Because have you realized, guys, that the brain, when you eat, it's uh, calmer. And the sheeple, guys, being more on the material part, you know, they have this, uh, this, uh, how do you say in English, this way of doing things that uh, put uh, that they eat when they have when you are in the social context where they are meeting other people they have to eat maybe because they will be animals with each other if they don't eat you know the dopamine will decrease you know and they will be fucking mean to each other so they oh, right, let's make this a rule when we are among each other we should uh, give to someone something when they come in our house oh, this is something that we used to do but not, not other we are fucking alone right now we don't have uh, anybody visiting us, uh, us anymore but we, I remember when I was in Albania guys we would have even people living in our building you know in our uh, building that you know condo you know you talk to people. There was this thing, you know, but you would talk to people. You were friendly to them back in the before the nineties, guys. I used to live in a place where humans were not mean to each other, and you would invite other people in your home. Think about that. In Albania, guys, guys, Logitech. Sorry, in Albania, Logitech. We uh, we used to to be poor because it, th there was communism, which we are going back to. So, uh, don't you not. I can find the words when I want to speak in English. So when you, uh, we were poor, so there was only one guy in our building, in our condo, condo, condominio, <laughs> uh, and only this guy had a fridge. The other people in this building will take their meat, for example, and will give it to this guy that had the, has a fridge 
So the pr fridge was kind of in common, you know. But he, he of course, you know, he is his fridge, of course. It was not that we were paid for that service, no. But it was normal, since you have so fucking space in your fucking fridge, you know, to, to put uh, uh, the, 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 the Johnny's meat also. Or fucking uh, Loretta's meat in your fucking fridge. Loretta, I don't know why Loretta came into my fucking mind. <laughs> or, for example, if you don't have sugar, you go to your neighbor and he will give you sugar. We will not ask him for money, you know, dumb fucks. Uh, and again, I, I see this like uh, people used to be like this because people at the top, they were kind of increasing the temperature of this water that is boiling us, you know, slowly. So back then the, the, the water was still, you know, cold, you know. So, would not, but now the heat is very, very high, guys. And now they are fucking burning us alive, guys. And so we are not in this kind of a hell, you know. We are, uh, we are not, we are mean to each other because you cannot be human in this. Only really, really good people can, can be good at, at this point and with this pressure that we are under right now, guys. So talking about a fucking diet in this moment guys for me it's fucking stupid okay i i see th her videos are before 2020 and in fact she said that talking about anything else at this point you know which is not what we are going through right now guys is just stupid and in fact these videos you can see are three years ago two years ago so before the shit hit the fan 2020 aka uh, so guys, uh, I presented to you Daphne, and with present to you Daphne, I presented myself. You know what I think. This is why my my way of seeing things, and uh, and that's it, Daphne. Uh, if you ever watch this video, I have nothing against you. I don't think you are an entrepreneur girl. She doesn't even answer to your comments, guys. She maximum she can do is like giving you a heart. Because she says, I'm a businesswoman and I have lots of shit to do. I cannot waste time with you fucking monkeys in YouTube. Which is, which is, it's good, you know. You are not a loser like me, Daphne. I'm a loser that I comment back to people. Okay, I, I know I'm also a parasite. So, uh, but again, as I've said, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not able to sell anything to people. I just can't sell people because selling to me is like sucking someone's dick because you are selling why are you trying to sell me you know it's even a, a way of saying you know i don't want to sell anything to anybody guys that's all let me stop this shit ciao